Okay, I'm going to show you some finger picking exercises in open D tuning, uh, which I think will be really good for you if you're starting out on finger picking, sort of blues finger picking, alternating bass kind of thing. If you move to an open tuning, uh, you, you, your left hand doesn't have to do as much. So, what I'm going to do is um, I did a video like on this, a little bit of this earlier stuff before, but I'm going to put up tab on the screen and play along as I go through it. Um, let me put up the tab right now. Okay, so op uh, if you're not already in open D tuning, sometimes referred to as vestibule tuning, it's D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. You're tuned to a D major triad. So to start off with, we're going to just do an alternating bass, and that's this first measure. Thumb moving between six and four string, and that's going to be consistent throughout. Next up, I have this finger picking pattern, and I'm going to be using this finger picking pattern for all the exercises that follow. So let me play it. It's pinch two and three and four. Pinch two and three and four. Pinch two and three and four. And then we have a scale. This is a Mixolydian scale. Okay, that's the third bar. And then the rest of this page is going to be wetting this finger picking pattern with this mixolydian scale. So it starts right here and let me play it through. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. The next exercise I'm going to throw in will harmonize the first string with the second string using the same scale tones. So in here, we are using thirds. Um, let me play it once. One, two, three, four. <laughs> look at them on the second and first string are either going to be spaced two frets apart like that first one or one fret apart like the second and third one two frets apart five and seven seven and nine one fret apart nine and ten and two frets apart ten and twelve and twelve and fourteen I'll play that one more time one Two, three, four. Now these two exercises, uh, this one and the previous one, you can kind of play around with um, make up something make up a melody try skip 
jumping notes. Add little ornamental th things like hammer-ons and pull-offs. thirds. Of course you want to get comfortable with just playing this exercise first, but the last thing I threw in here is what I call a simple blues. It's a 12 bar blues. Um, we're going to have um, four bars of D, two bars of G, back to two bars of D, two bars of A7, and two bars of D. Let me play this for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So this should help you with your alternating bass playing in this open tuning, open D tuning. Um, I, I encourage my students to get to open tunings fairly quickly when they're doing uh, alternating bass because you have less to worry about with the left hand. You can focus on your picking hand a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Thanks.